And we should, we should be going live right about now. And a very, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just let me just get set up with my uh, technical stuff here. It should be a uh, right about now. Uh, I hope that you're ready for a fantastic weekend. It is starting now, seven o'clock. Uh, or if you are in England, it's five hours ahead, so it's still ready. It's still big up for the weekend. And so this is the uh, Norfolk Fest event stay at home series. We have been going now for two weeks. Uh, we will be coming to maybe not an end, but going in another direction uh, from Sunday onwards. But we still have some fantastic stuff coming. Uh, we also have tomorrow. Remember to tune on in. We have the weekend workouts with Angela. That's our sales manager. So if you're feeling ready for a workout, 12 to 1, tune in to Norfolk Fest events. Uh, we also have Mr. Patrick Evans Hilton, our crazy culinary questions again. Uh, he's been going strong all week long. And um, if you've been watching him, he's been making some fantastic dishes, telling us about lots of wonderful, very um, nice and tasty drinks as well, refreshing. Uh, we also have on Sunday, it is Roga, that's yoga, uh, with the lovely Rose Marie, so she can get you relaxed in that meditative state. And we also have Sunday, it's the last of the live concerts. Don't miss out on this one. It is Mr. Lewis McGee and uh, the Fab Five and Jimi Hendrix tribute. He is going to be doing that. It's 7 o'clock on Sunday. So we have a jam-packed, fun-filled weekend. Ready to go, uh, but I am back this time. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. Nice shirt. Yes, uh, you're welcome. I couldn't find anything. I was trying to find some uh, some stuff to spruce a bit more up, but I'm not allowed out. So this is all I have at this precise moment in time. Uh, but if you didn't tune in last week, we did have a bit of fun last week. The scavenger hunts. Um, uh, hey, Rubber. Oh wow, Roberta Arrojo. Uh, all I can hear now is coming to America in my head from West Side Story. Uh, so, yes, if you didn't tune in last week, my name is Craig. I'm one of your entertainment directors with Norfolk Fest Events with my colleague, Mr. Andrew Ellis, as well. We work joint to joint, joint to joint, uh, hand in hand, hip to hip. And he keeps me in line when I kind of drift off. But we're going to have some fun tonight. Uh, we're going to do 15 questions, uh, some history. We're going to bring the events i'm going to say to you because we can't actually you can't be at the event so we're going to pull it into your house we're going to give you 15 questions and after every third question there's going to be a share event so if you look in the bio kind of up here or down here uh you will see a link um facebook part and you can actually post your photos from past events your favorite photos or any photos you want to share uh, and that can post it on there to get involved with the questions too. Um, so yeah, 15 questions. Uh, again, it's our stay at home series of events. We had some fun last week just catching up. And again, you have our comments here. Uh, feel free if you've got any thank yous you want to give to anybody, uh, any shout outs to anybody, if you want to say anything about my shirt, Mr. Ellis, uh, by all means. Oh, that's my little brother watching too, Mr. Tom Tom himself. So, uh, again, we're going to combine this and hope you have some fun. Let's go for the first one. And I actually brought back the timer for you, too. we got uh, 20 questions, uh, 20 seconds on that timer. Get yourself a pen and paper ready and get yourself involved in it. Penny Gold is back as well. Well done, by the way, Penny, with your uh, Far From Over tribute with Mr. Lawrence Niels. It was very, very nice. Uh, Kelly Ray, wow, all the way from uh, National. No, uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, we got, wow, lots of people are tuning in. Let's go, question number one, very, very easy. Again, it's gonna be about the past events, as also some history of um, things we have done. So let's bring this up, uh, let's go for here. Stop blocking me. We're gonna give you the first question. All right, question number one, what is the official Fest Events logo? Okay, what is the official Fest Events logo? You got A, B, C, or D? 20 seconds. Very, very easy. Miss Karen Schauberger has tuned on in. All right, come on, 20 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, 
six. Five, now remember, a logo three, doesn't sell directly, it identifies. One, Here at the uh, Fest Events Fun family. Very easy. So what do you think the answer was? I know it says it on there. That's why it's so easy, Andrew. That's, thank you very much for pointing out the obvious, Andrew. Um, it is, yes, as you can see here, your A, B, C, or D. The official one is answer C. That is the Fest Events logo. We start off easy. We're going higher. We just started here. We're going higher, Andrew. Pull back. Uh, next question. Let's go for this one. Um, here we go. Here's a nice picture, actually, down there at the waterfront. Uh, so the question, I'm not sure if you can really see that down here. In what year was the first ever Norfolk uh, Harbour Fest held? In what year was the first ever Norfolk Harbour Fest held? So I will give you 20 questions on that one just to fill it on out. We don't have the graphic this week. Now, did you know that the Norfolk Harbour Fest is the largest longing running free maritime festival in the entire world? But you didn't know that? It also began in 1976 after a tall ship event called the Operation Sail, um, which we're going to talk about a little bit later in tonight's show, took off to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the American Revolution. Mr. Kevin Darby's uh, tuning on in. Brittany's here too. Um, so the answer to this one, uh, also this year, it would have been the 45th, uh, 44th annual, uh, but it has been canceled, but we will be still producing a wide variety of online content for the virtual Harbor Fest experience. That was a bit more technical that time. Uh, as you can see right there, black and white, that's a fantastic photo. And the answer was, what year was the first ever Norfolk Harbor Fest held. If you put down 1976, you are absolutely correct. If you put 1977, wrong. If you put 1944, wrong. It was 1976 was what we were looking for. Question number three. As you can see down there, right down near uh, Town Point Park, right down near the water's edge, you can see the tall ships as well. Also our festivals here. We have a lot of fun. Um, now this chance is for you to share a photo of a favorite part of your Harbor Fest. Uh, so here, as you can see, is the area of view. Uh, I put my producers here, give me some notes. Uh, for the 2016 Norfolk Half event, Harbor Fest, which was marked the celebration of the 40th annual festival. Uh, and this photo was actually taken by one of our great uh, local photographers, Keith Lanfear, and Keith has worked with a number of the biggest events for many, many years. So uh, thank you very much for this fantastic photo. Uh, so, okay, if you want to share your favorite photo of Harper Fest, remember it's in our link up, I am doing the thing is the opposite here, up over here. Uh, oh, have I got to deal for you. Uh, it's right here, also with our donor, donate button as well. Uh, Wow, Captain La Farina, Captain from the Carnival Fleet. Nice to see you, Capitano. I uh, haven't seen you in a long time, but I hope you're keeping well. Next, hey, Captain, you can bring your ship in here. It could, we actually have the Carnival ships that come down here. I think it's here. here I'm trying to, he, here, down here. It's down here, right near the dock. Um, Ellen's here as well. Question number Four. Now, this will get your taste buds going if it's not already or your, your feet tap in. Um, question, here we go. How many pounds of crawfish on average are cooked each year at our Bayou Boogaloo Festival? It's absolutely massive, this festival. And I'm going to give you 20 seconds. 20 seconds to answer this one. Think of it. Let's go for why is there we go. perfect all right T minus 20 seconds. seconds here we go it is crawfish season why boogaloo has been postponed remember it's not cancelled it's postponed Ten, this year nine, but i'm eight, sure you're ready for some seven, crawfish six, Do you know what? Five, i know it's very bad five, but i've never actually three, had two, crawfish one, 
Yeah. I'm sure I was very excited to try this crawfish, which I'm sure later on in the year. But uh, how many pounds of crawfish on average are cooked each year at the Bayou Boogaloo? Mr. Ellis, how much crawfish have you eaten in the past? Is that what, what do you eat it with? Like, do you eat it with? See, I'm a big ketchup fan. Ketchup, and I'm sure people or anybody that's eaten crawfish, and I'm not, but I'm not that person that will be in a restaurant and order steak and say, can I have the ketchup? Um, but yeah, what, what do you eat crawfish with? And I see that they're kind of sucking the, uh, the, again, I've not seen crawfish yet. I've never eaten crawfish. Uh, but also, the answer, if you've got it, is 8,000. 8,000 pounds of crawfish on average are cooked each year at our Bayou Boogaloo Festival. 8,000? 8,000. 8, Studio audience, what do you think? Exactly. 8,000. But also for this one, um, I actually was given a fact. Uh, the annual Bayou Boogaloo Festival, that's 30 times 8,000, which is 240,000 pounds of crawfish. That's a lot. All right, that was question number four. Hopefully you got that one correct. Next one, question number five, including both the Town Point Park and the Ocean View Beach Park. That's our two, uh, two parks that we have. How many shells of fireworks are shot off each year for the 4th of July? How many shells? So that's including Town Point Park and Ocean View Beach Park. How many shells of fireworks are shot each year for the 4th of July? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get on in that one. Think about it. Write it on down. Uh, each year, Fest Events produces two fireworks shows along with the Norfolk uh, waterfronts. We have one in the Town Point Park, and the other one is in Ocean View Beach Park. Uh, and yeah, we got Sam watching as well, and Rodders is watching. Um, we also have uh, this year, we are hoping to have both shows up and running, and we are keeping our fingers crossed, ready for this one. So what do you think? How many fireworks are shot off each year for the 4th of July with our two parts that we do have? Mr. Ellis, you say one million. Uh, Ms. Karen Sherberger, Brittany Day, I know that you've been there for a, a lot for this one. Missed the question. The question was, including Town Point Park and Ocean View Beach Park, how many shells of fireworks are shot off each year for the 4th of July for a Norfolk Festival? So we have the two parks, and it's a humongous festival, um, or uh, big events. So Ellen, probably guessed a couple of thousand. I'm very gay, happy birthday. Uh, the answer is 7,000, 7,000. And it does go on for a long time as well, around about 15, 15 to 20 minutes as well. It's a big, big uh, crowd pleaser. Lots of people hugging, kissing, social distancing. Uh, next, a gazillions, I'm sure. Who pushes the button? Who pushes the button for the fireworks? Do they count down like five, four, three, two, one, push the button? Or is it five, four, three, two, one, and push the button? Because I'm, I'm sure that there's some music as well that goes along with it. Or oh, imagine if you align it with a match. Okay, ready. And I, I'm, next question, number six. All right, this is one of the share moments. So uh, where was your favorite place uh, and favorite spot to watch the fireworks at downtown Norfolk, Virginia? Uh, remember, share your picture. That's going to be on our Facebook Stay at Home series, the event page. So if you go to it, and using the link in the description below, you can actually uh, put your favorite picture. So you're, we're going to collaborate all these photos that you put onto our Facebook event page and that's the way that we're going to do our virtual scrapbooking over the rest of the entire year. So you'll have that chance to be collaborated in there. Um, so again, and even anything you've been doing in front of home, stick it on there. Uh, so did you watch it on a rooftop? Uh, did you watch it from the Waterside District uh, from Ocean Breach on the Ocean View? Uh, how about also the restaurant Grain as well? That's a great place. You can actually watch it over there. Or maybe just on the television too. 
so post in there your shared moment. Uh, yeah, Simon Cowell. I'm trying to think, what was Simon Cowell's hook line? Is that still going? All right, next one. Okay, enjoy your walk, social distancing walk, brothers. Say hi to Laura now. Uh, next question, number seven. Uh, at the Virginia Children's Festival, this is also huge, in 2019, now, North of Fest events, we attempted to break the world record for the participants in which crazed dance. All right, so at the Virginia Children's Festival in 2019, we attempted to break the world record of participants in which dance craze. You are going to love me for this one because it will be in your head for the rest of the entire evening. Uh, so 20 questions, uh, 20 seconds that you have, I will find you a timer. But I also have here as well. Unfortunately, it's the official, we were trying to get the, the world record for this one, but actually to get the world record, you actually had to have the Guinness World Record personnel there to officially document it. Uh, they weren't there, but we, uh, we still had a lot of fun for this children's festival. It will be happening later on in the year. Um, Let's go for, it's also billed as Hampton Road's most exciting family festival. And also thanks to our partners, that is WHRO, for capturing some of the footage of well from the Children's Festival. So what is the answer, do you think, for this question at the Virginia Children's Festival? We attempted to break the world record of participants in which dance craze? And the answer was, yeah, I... I don't even need to hear, I can actually hear it in my head. And if anybody's at home, feel free to sing at the screen with me. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 do. That was question, uh, that was question number seven. Remember we're doing 15 questions. Bit of fun tonight, just gathering ourselves together. Question number eight. Oh wow, this one's for you, Samantha Dua, uh, and also, uh, Haley, this one's for you. I'm sure you have. Well, actually, no. I'm not sure if you're allowed a glass of this at the moment. But how many wineries, on average, are featured at each of our wine festivals? So in the comments, put it on down. How many wineries do you think, on average, uh, are featured at each of our wine festivals? Now, remember, Norfolk Fest events, we produce two wine festivals each year. We have the Springtown Point Virginia Wine Festival, and then we have that we sober up, and then we have the Fall Town Point Virginia Wine Festival. So we have two. Uh, now the Spring Wine Festival it, uh, is in its 14th year. Remember, it's been postponed, but uh, we will have something coming up for you later in the year. Now all the wineries are also from the Commonwealth of Virginia too. Remember, Mr. Patrick Evans Hilton. Later on tomorrow night. Uh, he, uh, he is a culinary guru, I like to say. He could tell you a lot about this. Mel, nice to see you. Ruby, nice to see you. And uh, who I got missed there? Albert Demeyer, how was your cruise? I'm sorry, last time I actually chatted was probably around about this time last year. Uh, here we go. And the answer was dun, 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 dun. 30. And they are all in Virginia. How many wineries on average are featured at each farm? wine festivals the answer is 30 and they are a lot of fun as well so if you got that correct mark it on down uh, the next part is another one uh, so again if uh, you have any of your photos that you did attend any of our wine festivals uh, put them on and post them into the link if you have just joined us which I know a couple of you are uh, wait so wait it was 30 yes correct you did win yes well done um, so yeah, but you, you can taste each one as well. Next one. So again, share it down in the link. If you have a photo, share it in our Norfolk Fest events. We want to hear from you. Next one, number question 10. Here it comes. Which of these Bayou Boogaloo uh, posters is the most recent? This is a difficult one. Andrew, I'm not sure if you may get this one. Uh, so which of these? is our Bayou Boogaloo posters is the most recent. See, I had to change my glass this week. This one's moonshine for my Tennessee friends. Ooh, 
the H2O. So which one do you think it is? A, B, C, or, or A, B, or C? Which of these Bayou posters is the most recent? That is question number 10. And remember, I have a few facts here I want to tell you about because Bayou Bubble is known for its New Orleans. It's our theme for our events. Our New Orleans inspired posters and artwork, as you can see right there. Now, Bayou Boogaloo also features uh, the arts market of New Orleans as well, uh, which can, we have 20, if not more, artists. Uh, they come from the Arts Council of, what was it, Narlands? Narlands? With the front line, Narlands. Uh, there's jewelers, there's photographers, there's painters, there's sculptors, and many, many more. So this is our big festival. So get out to one of these as well. Also, I want to do a shout out to a very hardworking young man as well, Mr. Mike Bell. Uh, here we go. So yes, which Bayou Bubble posters is the most recent? It was B, as you can see there. I'm not sure if you can zoom in, but it's A, B, C. Well, Kyle Richland, it is B. So again, uh, Mr. Mike Bell also designs and decorates many many of our festivals and i've had the opportunity to tour one of mike bell's warehouse one of many and those warehouses there's just a collaboration how can i explain it have you ever walked into a film set or walked into a theater and thought how many props mike bell has shells on shells on rooms within rooms within rooms of just different there's sculptures, there's props, there's backdrops, there's curtains, there's candles, there's oversized fountains, um, there's oversized nursery rhyme books, and he builds each and every single one with his team, and he helps with our festivals to decorate them as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing Mr. Mike Bell in the very near future. And it was uh, A, number A here on the far right, was actually from 1998, and C was from 1994. So if you put B, you were... Correct. Well done. Uh, Mig Miguel, wow. I haven't seen you. The last time I saw Miguel was on the Liberty, I think. Carnival Liberty 2007. I think I had a little bit more hair then. Question number 11. How many years has the Norfolk Waterfront Jazz Festival been running? How many years has the Norfolk Waterfront Jazz Festival been been running now andrew ellis has a big hand in this one as well along with everybody at fest events um, he actually helps book a lot of the bands and musicians as well very 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 talented i did say that live on air mr andrew ellis uh number 11 how many years has the norfolk waterfront jazz festival been running uh the few facts here again the year is uh it's been it was scheduled for august 21st and 22nd and we were going to be headlined with George Benson, along with fellow Grammy Award winning, win, winning? winner, jazz musician, Mr. David Sanborn. That's two, two of many big acts that we were going to have for our um, Waterfront Jazz Festival. But uh, remember, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. See, you didn't know that, did you, Sam? Um, so the question, how many years has the Norfolk Waterfront Jazz Festival been running? How many years? Has it been running? Have you attended every single one? Have you sung along? Have you put down your lawn chair? Have you rolled your wine? Oh, have you grabbed your wine from one of our vendors as well? Very refreshing. Have you sung along? Uh, remember, we have had some of our musician friends at uh, these stay-at-home events too. And how many years has the Norfolk Waterfront Jazz Festival been running? The answer was, did you say 40? The answer is 38. 38 years. That's a long time. That's almost, well, I'm not that old. I'm pushing into 20, well, I, I turn 27 next year. Um, yeah, 27 into <clears throat> 20. <clears throat> yes. Next question. Question number 12. Um, again, this is another share moment for you to get yourself involved. Uh, what was your favorite performance? We had Bowie James. We had Richard Elliott, we had uh, Sheila E, we had Rick Brown, we had Ramsey Lewis in the past. What was your favorite one? Um, so share that photo on uh, Richard Phil. Nice to see you, Richard. Uh, share your events from the best one. Uh, let's go for this question, question number 13. Uh, 
Okay, now can you name? This just happened before uh, the outbreak or instance that are just happening at the moment. Can you name the most recent international class A? Captain La Farina, you may get this one. Um, the most recent international class A tall ship to downtown Norfolk. It's just departed. I want to say about three weeks ago, Andrew and I did have the chance to step on board before it did depart. And wow, there's a lot of history on board. Um, we actually have many tall ships that come with it. We have uh, some from Colombia. There's Norway. There's Uruguay. Uh, Indonesia, Bermuda to Ecuador, Mexico to Spain to Brazil, and downtown Norfolk has paid host to the most uh, class naval uh, sail training ships as well. Uh, so what was the name of the recent tall ship that actually docked with us downtown and then uh, departed? So what do you think? Also, what was the name of it? What do you think? Hey, Trey, nice to see you. Uh, what was the name? And I'm sure I'm going to, I'm going to give you 20 seconds if you need it. Trey, how are you feeling? Hey, someone's going to know that one, I'm sure. Okay, I didn't know I had to scroll up here. Here we go. Here we go. It is. Now, I had to phone uh, one of our directors before we came online. It was the Statsrad Limkal. I pronounce, and hopefully I'm saying that right. It was the Statsrad Limkal. Statsrad Limkal. I'm sorry, Captain, if I'm butchering the name. Uh, but that was the most recent, and that was in March 2020. And they had the officers as they were pulling in to the dock. They had them all up there on near the sails, and they're actually singing along. Uh, it was one of those. The next time we actually have it in, which will be on our festival events website, we'll let you know about it. And we had it um, around about say 50, maybe 100 guests that were down there taking video footage of the ship when it pulls in, and it was very picturesque just to hear the officers, uh, the naval officers singing and if you look online you'll actually see some of the photos but you do have some of those photos um stick and they're actually singing live acapulco as well there wasn't any uh song like uh, music we're singing along to that she's singing along to as well very very interesting to watch it was a statrad lim 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 cal statrad lim cal hey Rian is here as well the baby's sleeping i'm sure that you'll be sleeping after a few glasses of wine tray uh, do you have your bandana on? Next question. Question number 14. When was the last time Hampton Roads hosted the op sale? When was the last time Hampton Roads opted the op sale? So what do you think? Uh, just losing my thing here. When was the last time Hampton Roads? 20 seconds. Now remember, City of Norfolk and the entire Hampton Roads community has been selected and this is very special too. It's been selected uh, numerous times in the past 50 years to host the city for these amazing expand. This is, as you can see here, all these ships. Just imagine being stood here on the dock, taking pictures uh, with the family, friends, the loved one, and seeing all these beautiful ships come sailing through as well. Uh, so we also had, they've got um, tall ships, military, naval, and much, much more too. Good. I'm glad you feel educated. That's uh, I'm here to have some fun and feel educated. Uh, but also, this is very exciting. Just uh, Miss Karen Sherberg did let us know as well earlier this year, which we're really excited. So the year 2026, I know this is a little bit far off, but we've already started planning this because it's so, so big. 2026 Norfolk Fest events is the official host of Sail 250 Norfolk in the summer of 2026. It is going to be huge. Uh, so make sure you come along today as well. Molly's here. Nice to see you, Molly. Uh, next, and we need to go to the last and final questions. So what was the last time? I skipped over there. The Hampton Roads posted the op sale. What was the last time? Last year. If you were there, remember to share that picture. Posted op sale. It was 2012. That was when my 28th birthday was. I turned 28. 
Oh, Mr. Ian Montalto. Nice to see you as well. Ian, it's been a very long time. Um, I still tell that story from Christmas. It was our Christmas show on board the Carnival Fantasy um, that you were meant to be handing out the electronic um, lights, the little electronics of the housekeeping, and you had stepped off the ship to see your frogs with some of our breakdancers on board. And um, yes, you had a fun time anyway. We had a nice Christmas as well, but I'm sure your dad's fine as well. I talked to him quite a lot, but uh, nice to see you. Alex Hield, Alex Hield. Uh, talking of musicians, Mr. Alex Hills, uh, he has a great channel too, very up and coming. Next one, and the last and final one, here we go. I think that's, this one's coming up now. Again, it was just a bit of fun for tonight. I may put some 80s trivia later on in the week, uh, some 90s trivia, but it was just to bring the events to you, some of the stuff that had to get postponed, not cancelled, postponed. We were going to bring some events and trivia to you, but we would love to have you if you are... Actually, just plan your next vacation to downtown Norfolk. Here in Virginia, you have the beach, you have everything. Um, you can stay here. We have, a, we have a bedroom, we have a bed, we have a bathroom. We're all friends here. Come on down. I know you didn't know much about it, Mr. Ian Montalto. I do remember knocking on your cabin door. You poking your head out. What? Last and final question. Here we are. Find and share your favorite photo from our Hampton Roads off sale event. What was your Favorite time that you had? Uh, was the weather beautiful? Were you sharing a memory? Did you get engaged? Was it birthdays? Any events? Um, so that was some some stuff with yourselves as well. Uh, did have a lot of fun. Uh, I will try and find a different shirt for later on in the week. Um, remember, we have tomorrow, again, Saturday. It is the weekend, 12 to 1. We do have Angela, our sales manager. She has our weekend workout. I may be there for that workout. Uh, we have Sir Patrick Evans Hilton with a crazy culinary question. I will pronounce that correct later on in the week. What was the question? The question was, when was the last time Hampton Roads opted the op set? It was the answer was 2012. Sam, you are that person at the back of the trivia room that will join in late. Trey has two glasses of wine. Uh, we also have Patrick Everett Hilton, that's Saturday at 7. We got Roga with Rosa Marie and Trey. Uh, hopefully, you will have your yoga pants on uh, later on. If not, uh, Actually, Trey, you should post a picture of you in your yoga pants. Uh, that is one of our production as well. So, and also Sunday, this is a big one. We have a live concert with Lewis McGee, Fab Five Beatles, Ian, your dad might like that, uh, Jimi Hendrix tribute at 7 o'clock. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure again. Just have some fun. That's some few little bits and pieces. And I will see you uh, later on in the week as well. We're going to post some more stuff up there. But, again, share those photos in our shared link as well. There is a donate button as well. Uh, we have lots of fun. I'm excited to get back outside. And Andrew, I, and the rest of the team, terrific, fantastic team, uh, we are collaborating with lots of events, lots of things whilst this is happening. Believe me, the doors are shut, but I guarantee those wheels are steep on there. Keep on going. Have some fun. I will talk to you shortly and see you soon.